If tastemakers are those who, by thinking out of the box and promoting an intelligent taste, create new directions in aesthetics, then Barry Friedman is definitely a tastemaker. For nearly five decades, he has established himself as one of New York's leading art dealers. And when it comes to design, Friedman has been responsible for creating trends, unearthing, neglecting historical periods, discovering new talents, creating some of the world's leading design fairs, and guiding such legendary collectors as Andy Warhol and Barbara Streisand. Icons of modern design have made their way from his gallery to museum collections in many of the world's finest homes. Next month, Christie's will celebrate his retirement with a three-day auction entitled Barry Friedman, The Eclectic Eye. His magnificent career began in 1969 when he opened its first gallery focused on art glass at a time when Tiffany and Art Nouveau glass were perceived as the embodiment of style and highbrow taste. In the flea markets of Paris, Friedman soon discovered Art Deco and taught Americans to appreciate French modern. He introduced furniture by Aline Gray, Emile Jacques Rulman, and Jean-Michel Franck to the American market, and the term Art Deco was first coined. Gradually, he discovered other exponents of modern design, Hector Guimara, Joseph Hoffman, Charles René Mackintosh, Carlo Molino, and the German founders of the modern movement, Richard Drimmerschmidt, Mies van der Rohe, and the Bauhaus. When exhausting this material, he turned to postmodernism and to the magical work of Shiro Kuramata and a Taurus Sotsas. In the 90s, Friedman's eye for discovering great talents was shifted to the emerging world of collectible contemporary design. Furniture by such influential talents as Rana Rad, Mark Newson, and the Campana brothers were shown at Friedman's gallery. He helped relaunch the declining career of Wendell Castle, one of the key leaders of the American studio movement. Today, at the age of 81, Friedman told me, Wendell is creating the best of his work. Christie's sale will be divided into four sections. The evening sale will include iconic contemporary furniture. An entire section will be devoted to Italian contemporary glass. And another section focuses on vintage Italian glass masterpieces. There is nothing I really want to sell, he recently said. And for the future, he will continue shaping the taste of New Yorkers, this time by resurrecting Zona, the lifestyle shop which reaches apex in the 80s, and by writing a memoir that will tell the story of a tastemaker's glorious life.